Okay guys, look, in this one we're going to be showing you um, one of the other things I use a lot of, which is an intervalometer. Uh, an intervalometer is a usually a remote control that tells the camera to take a photo at set intervals, hence intervalometer. Um, with the Magic Land, the biggest uh, reason why I actually initially got into it is because it actually has one built in. I'm just going to turn global drawings off. And what you want to do is just go over to your shooting menu. See here I've got HDR bracketing options and then we've got uh, intervalometer. Uh, you can turn it on or off using this button here. If I actually press the Q button, you see down the bottom it says open sub menu. Press Q and this is the intervalometer menu. I can set it to say take a photo every 15 seconds or really whatever I like. Um, I normally take a shot every 35 seconds when I'm doing night photography. Um, and I set it to start after about five seconds, and you can set it to stop after exactly how long, how long you want. Um, so you can see there, at, um, it even gives you calculations. So you can see if I took 300 shots every 35 seconds, you can see it would take me almost three hours to take that shot to or to take the um, that time ups, um, and at 25 frames per second playback, which is standard. That's going to equate to about 12 seconds worth of playback time. Um, this is great to sort of calculate. Um, you know, if you know that you've got to finish up the shoot and you've only got, say, four hours to shoot in, um, what you can do is you can say, look, I really need that to go for 30 seconds. So you're going to set yourself 700 shots. You need 700 shots for 30 seconds. And you say, well, look, I don't have seven hours to play around with this. So let's bring this down. I've only got two hours. So if I shoot one every 10 seconds, that's going to take an hour and 56 minutes, but it'll play back over 28 seconds. So this is great to get a sort of balance if you know exactly how long you want your time lapse to play back for, and you know how long you've got to shoot it, then this will automatically calculate all that, which is really, really easy. Um, then when you finish, just press your shutter button, just to pre-focus it, and you notice it counts down and starts taking your photos for you. You'll see also it's got the timer on the screen there, showing you how many shots it's taken and how long until the next shot. Um, when you're doing manual focusing, this is where you've got that gap there to um, change your settings and uh, meter for the for light change, especially with sunrise and sunset time lapses. So um, yeah, this is I said, probably the most used feature that I have on um, Magic Lantern. I use this almost every time. Well, I do use it every single time I do a time lapse. Um, and it's really invaluable to have on there. So yeah, um, you can always use it for Star Trail photography, stuff like that as well.